Knowles News! It's Knowles News! Hi, young fella. Hi, Noel, how are you? I'm fine. I couldn't help. Sorry, I have an itchy nose there. Okay. Someone talking about me. <laughs> Did you hear that one? Yeah, yeah. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say? Um, I couldn't help but see during the week on, on your Twitter page, you said you already visited Area, area 51, the famous place that's going getting ransacked, I suppose. Area 51, I was there, yeah. yeah. Area 51, yeah, before Junction 14. <laughs> <laughs> It was Area 51. Right, right. I was there, no aliens. No aliens. No, no. one lad from Mount Melica, right? He <laughs> fairly big forehead, but you know, <laughs> yeah. not, not quite alien. But definitely the worst stag I was ever on. <laughs> <laughs> Area 51. Lads going storming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than letting go out and get a job. <laughs> going on storming areas. Ah, that's cameras, yeah. Um, I've got news now. I'm going to deliver it. Good man. Top news story of the week. Number one. The Italians are on the hunt for what, says you? More pasta? More <laughs> olive oil? No. I was only looking at Italian food during the week. Do you know they put garlic on bread? Garlic bread, yeah. Animals. <laughs> have you garlic. Never, have you never had garlic bread? Where would I get garlic bread? In the post. <laughs> Who's doing garlic bread around, around the county? You can get it. You cannot. And you shouldn't. <laughs> garlic is only medicinal. Okay. My, did I tell you, my grandmother used to eat a clove of garlic every day of her life. And she lived to be 109. <laughs> and it turned out that she was allergic to garlic. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out it was the garlic that got her in the end. Wow. Struck her down in her prime. A woman in her prime by 109 years of age. But she had lovely skin. Did she? Because of the garlic. That's what they say. But the Italians, um, <laughs> garlic hating bastards. <laughs> 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 the Italians, I guess, fucking hell. They're, um, they're on the hunt, right? For a bear. You know I like bears. Yeah. I've had several news stories about bears. Close to my heart. Um, <laughs> there used to be loads of bears up in northern Italy there in the mountains um, just tipping around not doing a whole pile kind of like traffic wardens but yeah. <laughs> they have tried to repopulate the area with brown bears in the last 20 years and uh, this has been a scheme going on like kind of a false scheme for bears and mixed results there's one bear and his name his lovely name is M49 sounds like the new Nina Bypass <laughs> <laughs> so um, this bear he was deemed a danger to humans and farm animals. So they captured the bear and they put him in the pen and had a big electric fence around the pen. And didn't the bear break out? Like oh. a man mad for porter, by the bear broke out. He got loose. <laughs> <laughs> the bear got loose, by right? He got loose. Passed three electric fences carrying 7,000 volts of electricity. Not a bother him. He got out, he got loose. And he climbed a 14-foot barrier off down the town with him. Off down. And the WWF have released a statement. Now, that is the World Wildlife Fund, not the World Wrestling Federation. <laughs> yeah, WWF, yeah. the party used to be watching this when he was a boy. Imagine him getting involved. Who's guarding the bear? Huh? The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> and your man Stone Cold Lee Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Austin. But they never had to wrestle a bear, I'll tell you that. I remember Stone Cold Lee Austin from Fort Law. <laughs> Father worked in the creamery. Son became a wrestler. That's him, bite. Stone Cold Lee Austin, bite. Uh, <laughs> so the Italian WWF have said the bear is a genius because of his escape. And I said, that is nothing. That is nothing. When I was a boy, well, no, not a boy. When I was younger, the mother wouldn't let me go to the dance. I wanted to go to the dance hall. And I jimmied out the bedroom window. I jimmied it. And the wall had barbed wire. And then there was broken glass set into the wet cement on the wall. <laughs> oh, wow. And I got past it. And I had to fight a cross dog. And then uh, you remember I told you we had a guard goose. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. I told you we had a guard goose at the house. 
and I slipped the goose a quarter of bread soaked in poteen and the goose was locked <laughs> he didn't know whether to quack or bark the poor bastard <laughs> <laughs> my mother thought the goose was taking a fit <laughs> <laughs> so she went down to give out to the goose and I was gone up to Boreen by I was gone after the dance now I don't dance at all I only went for the other crack something to do you know what I mean but I was after sneaking out the window now and I remember that night I asked Maureen Doolin out to dance she was the best looking woman available at that moment <laughs> <laughs> and most of the women were taken because I was late now I was able to give her the hook and book which Dermot had learned on a family holiday to Bruff. <laughs> yeah, the fa- his family went off on holidays to Bruff, County Limerick. And he learned all moves. You know what they used to say? Bruff for the muff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. So <laughs> she, she loved the huckle buck. And she said, Noel, could you show me how to do that? I said, Maureen, out the back, one on one. Uh, young fella, have you ever tried to make love to a woman? While holding her up against the wall of our dance hall. I have to say I haven't. While Maureen was a good solid woman. At the time now she was assistant manager in the creamery. <laughs> and daughter of a pig farmer. And any woman that can handle pigs. She can handle any man. That's true. That's a fact. <laughs> so my knees nearly went. And I tell you. I wouldn't let her best me. I got the job done and tell you that now. And there we were up against the wall of the dance hall. And around the corner came Father Cain, the parish priest. He'd be doing security at the dances that time. <laughs> He'd be doing security, Father Cain. And he heard the thumping on the wall inside. And he had to come out. He said, let you're louder than the band. <laughs> and he said, Noel, have you been fooling with Maureen Doolan? <laughs> <laughs> and he bet me up the road. Every inch home. Home to the mother. And he bet me every four steps with his big... <laughs> Sticky head, <laughs> and I was in trouble. But I got to the dance, and I got the old clang. <laughs> I got the old clang, as you say, and I was in big trouble. And I remember distinctly because I wasn't allowed to go to another dance until I was fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> For so this Italian bear who's after breaking out, I can relate to it. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the local governor has given the forestry authorities the permission to, and I quote, shoot it down. They're going to shoot the bear. And all the wildlife lads have gone mad over it. And I said, you don't need to shoot him. You just ring Father Kane. Oh, my God. Father Kane came out of retirement. He said, that bear sent a rosary in no time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ear is itchy now, sorry. There's someone talking about me. <laughs> Did you see the one during the week of the man... Flying from Colombia And he had the drugs on his head Oh I seen oh. he had like a wig Yeah Got it in one John Bite he, yeah. he, he, he had a wig <laughs> and, and, and they caught him It looked like there was a cat asleep on his head Yeah I swear to God And he was walking slowly <laughs> Like trying You know the drugs wouldn't fall off his head He was like a feather carrying his father's pint <laughs> That's what he was like now right? he Spill that pint and there will be blood We used to play a drinking game When we were out um, Drinking And it was If you spilled your pint you had to drink the next one out of your shoe. Right. And it was called Gentleman's Rules. <laughs> okay. So this man was caught with half a kilo of cocaine on his head. And the amazing thing about this, have you seen the photo? Yeah. It looks ridiculous. It's on top of his head and he's a wig thrown over. The amazing thing is, he was caught in Barcelona airport. So my question is, what kind of Garibaldis are doing the security in Colombia? Yeah, let him out with it. Let him out with it. He got loose. <laughs> so, I was reading this in the paper. I seen the photo. I nearly spat out my sausage. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> so, I have a few more cases I want to tell you about. The Spanish police arrested a man who had swallowed 35 condoms filled with drugs. Oh, my God. Now, I'm no Marty Whelan, but I'm fairly sure that's not how you use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they ever envisaged anyone swallowing them. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you can get pregnant via the mouth anyway. No. no Laura? I don't think so, no. no. I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm no doctor. Even a man of my vigor now. <laughs> I fucking spread like a shotgun today. But, uh, oh, I don't think my little lads could swim all the way down there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they just, they, they've tried wigs before. There was a woman in Madrid caught with nine 
hundred grams of cocaine sewn into her wig. And the same woman had 1.7 kilos of cocaine concealed in breast implants. Wow. No way. Yeah. Now, God gave women breasts and he gave men eyes. <laughs> and he gave the Whopper Halley the biggest tool in the county. <laughs> you could rot a chimney with it. I'll tell you that now. It's actually unnecessary. Uh. But my point is, women, you have lovely breasts. Don't be putting cocaine into your breasts. No. Okay, I'm reaching out to all your listeners now. Leave them alone. Another man, he'd fake arse cheeks sewn into his underpants. <laughs> full of cocaine. Um, imagine the shame oh, of being inside yeah. the airport having to take off your underpants <laughs> in front of everyone. <laughs> out in the middle of the hall having to take off your underpants. Shocking. Shock. Like you're at a mart. <laughs> Pants down in front of the whole airport. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> um, and in Brazil this week It was a good one the Lads were smuggling drugs And they made a mess of it They were hiding drugs In their old box of washing powder Jeez You know what I mean? Yeah Cocaine And our grannies went into the shop To buy washing powder And they're buying kilos of cocaine <laughs> <laughs> I got them all mixed up Huh? So great Old Mrs. Maloney She died of a heart attack But she's the fair clean <laughs> <laughs> So don't be a smug juggler <laughs> no. Smoke juggler. Um, I know on your um show here you do lists sometimes. Yes. Well, I have compiled a list this week. Okay. Of my top five country music singers. Oh. Irish. Oh no. Strictly Irish. Okay? okay. At number five, Mick Flavin. <laughs> From Ballinamock, County Longford, sixty-eight years of age, and I looked up Ballinamock. I typed Balnamok into Wikipedia and it said about Balnamok Wharton's Travel operates bus route 975 on behalf of the National Transport Authority. It serves the six times a day, not Sundays, providing services to Longford via Drumlish and to Cavan via Arva. Oh my God. That's what it says about Balnamok. <laughs> Exciting <laughs> stuff. And Mick Flavin is known for his hit. The shoe goes on the other foot tonight. <laughs> Written about Robert and Tommy Quinn, all Ireland three legged race champions. <laughs> <laughs> and his most famous song is I'm Going to Make It After All, a concept album about two men who refuse to make tea for each other. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> Philomena Begley. Yes, yes. Born in 1942. Some people say her birth. Changed the course of World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler took one look and said, "I ain't fighting that woman." <laughs> she has the song "Lay the Blanket on the Ground." Yep. Now, when she says "Lay the Blanket on the Ground," you better get down there. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing: you won't be getting up too handy. That's a fact. <laughs> Sorry, I have an itchy foot. Someone talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Declan Nurney from Drumlish, County Longford. He started in a band called The High Lows. I'm not even making that up now. That's a fact. And his breakthrough hit was The Marquee in Drumlish. Yeah. Were you ever at it? No. Heavy stuff. Yes, it is. I was at it once. I drank so many pints of harp, I went deaf. (laughs) (laughs) I was completely deaf (laughs) for four years. (laughs) Until one night, I went back on the harp. And when I woke up the next morning, my hearing was back. Wow, harp is strong, yeah. And it's like that saying they say, you have to get back on the horse. Yeah. Now, obviously, I wasn't on a horse. I was on the drink. <laughs> but it's the same principle. That's life. It's logic. Walk of life. You know, Elton John says, circle of life. <laughs> um, oh, God. And Declan runs... A holiday to the Costa de Luz in Spain where you can bask in the bright light reflecting off his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, stop the world and let me off. Just not in Longford. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Daniel O'Donnell. It's the sheer earning power of the man. Mm. Like, I know he looks like he'd melt at room temperature. <laughs> he looks like he'd need a life jacket for a cup of tea. But the man, he packs in the crowds. 
The ladies have to wear the double thickness tights oh. at his show. Tell you that. And he has the big song, I Just Want to Dance With You. Yeah. Written about a strange man that was hanging around outside the early mass. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he just wanted to dance with people. <laughs> the, the blacked out van was unnecessary. But Daniel <laughs> took him at face value. <laughs> Turned out he was vegetarian. <laughs> how, was, how, was, how was Daniel to know? Uh, and his other hits include My Donegal Shore Written after a bitter land dispute Between <laughs> Dan and the state And of course our thoughts and prayers Are with all those who lost their lives In the conflict <laughs> Number one Have a guess Nathan Carter Not Irish Oh, oh. Can't qualify He's as good as Irish, is he? Well, I once did say he was in the IRA, but that's, <laughs> that is a different story. And he's denied his membership since. Okay. Number one, Big Tom. Big Tom, yes. The legend. Yes. From Castle Blaney, County Mar- Monaghan. Tom McBride, sadly, passed away in 2018, but he left us with such hits like The Four Country Roads, Gentle Mother, I Love You Still. But he wasn't afraid to modernise. He had a song called An Irish Nurse. You could have written that one, huh? <laughs> um, and another hit, God Must Be a Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, our all everybody's favourite, An Hour Log Cabin for Sale. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fact. An Hour Log Cabin for Sale. That's one of his biggest hits. Whoa. And we all remember Big Tom by his song, you're going out the same way you came in. One of the greats, by Written about the man whose house only had one door. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the news. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks, William. <laughs> Fucking itchy arse. Someone must be talking about me. There's a lot of people talking about you. It's a what I've, I've a, I have a bit of an itchy mickey as well. <laughs> I better get to the doctor about that one. <laughs> 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 or they will be talking about me. Oh, brilliant stuff, Noah. 